Hi, I'm Gail Wetzler, and I'm the director of the curriculum in the Baral Institute for Visceral Manipulation. And we would like to share with you today in regards to the potential for your interest in coming to the level VM3. And that is all about the pelvis. I am a physical therapist. I have been working in women's health for a number of years. I'm an athletic trainer, and I have been working with athletes who perhaps have dysfunction into the pelvic girdle, the low back, low back pain, sacral, SI joint problems, and perhaps even those that travel into the lower extremities. And in this curriculum, you will have a in-depth idea of possibilities of do I have knee pain, or do I have hip pain, or do I have dysfunctions that are within the pelvis that are related to the urogenital organs of the pelvic cavity. So dysfunction, this is an area of great conflict and stress as the digestive organs are coming into the pelvic cavity, as elimination will occur, as a woman um, goes through their different cycles of menses, the potential of deliveries, um, the potential of pregnancy and the changes in the body that can be created through the muscle skeletal system as well as the organ system. So we're trying to help you identify different conditions that would affect the urogenital system that perhaps then has changes that occurs in the relationship into the body, to the abdominal cavity and into the thoracic cavity. And the pressures from these organs that go down onto the hard frame itself. Where is that coming from? I wonder if there's potential that the organs might be distributing their weight differently, their position differently. And so when you look at a sacral problem and it's in a conflict, like a torsion of some kind, is it exactly in relationship to the innominate bone? Is it the sacrum itself? or perhaps what is anterior to it. So we share with you the anatomy of the bladder and its associated structures that support it there. We share with you about the uterus, the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, from pregnancy to delivery, what changes can be happening within that region that will change the dynamics of that pelvic girdle. We look at the rectum. We look at potentials of fissures that may have had history there constipation, changes of pressure systems within the colon. So we want to have help you identify where these restrictions are within the organ system that has effect on the muscle skeletal aspects of the pelvic girdle. So for those of you who have already completed visceral manipulation level one and level two, you've learned about the abdominal organs, and now we help you integrate how the pressures from these abdominal organs will affect the pelvic organs and vice versa with the pressure systems. So you move on into more integration of the body, more integration of how the lower extremity can be involved with pelvic dysfunction, organs related to even lower extremity problems. And then we start to help you with the integration of what Jean-Pierre was after in the first place, and how is it that an organ system can affect the musculoskeletal system? So with that in mind, uh, there's the uh, people that you'll meet in the classes, certainly share, but the instructors have so many case studies and uh, sharing experiences with you that we hope to see you soon in that class so we can share those with you and you can start helping your people with pelvic dysfunction more and more.